Hey guys, it is me again. I don't know why I feel awkward doing this. Um, but I was just on a road trip for like a whole week from um Dubuque, Iowa to Denver, Colorado. So we just got back. So I'm almost finished with Mad Murder Part Two, which I'm still working on over there. But I got some more stuff in Lego Hog I'm going to review, and I still need to get reviews. And this is the stop motion thing I got with the Minecraft things, but. Um, uh, oh yeah, in January, me, my dad, and my brother are going to start a whole new channel, and it's going to be, like, really sophisticated, a lot better than this. I'm still going to run this whole channel, but just stay tuned, because we're still working on stuff, and my brother also has his book on how to make good YouTube videos. So, yeah. Also, I'm, a, I'm trying to make a video at least every week, maybe two if I can, but sometimes I forget to upload them, so... If I don't have one within two weeks, I'm just going to have a giant, like, uploading time where I upload, like, five at a time or something if I can. So, yeah. So, let's unbox this. And, yeah. No, I really shouldn't cut. I, just said, I don't think any of you saw my face in that since it's messed up. But I'm already doing it since I only 12% of my iPad, so this is what it looked like. Oh, so I got a power functions pack too. As I was like the thing and an ornament which I might do an opening on. And a small mini brick hole. Because I was at a Lego store. And some custom main things. Just a decent amount of stuff. So yeah, here. Um I'm filming this with my iPad too. This is why it's time to record. So um, ah, oh, here it is. I really hope I didn't bust that pen. This is what I do. I'm too lazy to get scissors. Stupid pen. Ah, so we have some blocks here and what seems to be like a cave for a creeper sign. Not entirely sure what that is. Some fencing, some what seems to be TNT and glass as well. Because I believe we put stickers on and I spilled like half the stuff. So more blocks. Um, oh yeah, these are like the backdrops for it and the stickers for all this stuff. And this is the base for all the blocks. On. Oh yeah, as well as the main figures, which I'm going to get. So yeah. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to review. These are modular, but with this camera in my hands, it's going to be hard to take it out, but, like... I'm probably thinking, why not just sit down and do that. I'm going to cut this out. I got this stuck. I'm stupid. I have 10% so I'm going to try to make this quick. I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh, this is so stupid. I was ready to start the review. Well then, let's do it. I hope this is going to be a safe one. So I just had to take the dog out of the stall. Um, at 7 percent my dog just got groomed. I might show you if I have time at the end of this video. But this is not stairs like I thought. This is a phone stand. So... You basically put your phone on it like this, except I don't have a phone, I have an iPad. I have an iPod, but I have no idea where I put it, and it's from like 40 years ago, so, yeah. And then you just have a bunch of, like, dirt things and stuff. What you need to put a sticker on to make TNT, and then these things to make them jump. So you just, like, would place it there, and then you place another one, and then so on until you get to the height of a block, which would pretty much be... Three of those. I like how I have three because about five to seven frames per second is the best frames per second if you're starting that stop motion. Well, five is the best, but once you start to get the hang of it, um, seven is good. So with these fences, you can like hook them together in different ways, like um, ah, and then you just like stick them, stick them somewhere. 
Then in the background, of course, you have this. And this as a background. And then this. And this creepy cave as a background. So, yeah. Maybe a creepy cave, that's it. So then let's get on to the reviews. And just so you know, they go with good series packs, like, um, uh, like these guys, basically. Like the Netherrack and Obsidian series. So, you've got Steve and his accessories, which, which I'll, um, uh, review in a bit. Then you have a Spider Jockey. I'm not sure if that's new or not, but I kind of hit the way his butt turned out. I mean, it just makes him look weird sitting on there. Then there's the creeper while it's being hit, like how it turns red, so it'd be like this, and then this, when it turns red, and I think that's all. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move on to Steve's ex- oh wait. Sticker sheet. Okay? So, yeah. These are all stickers. So this is my view, and just so you know, it's slime, Steve the Diamond, Cat, and- oh, I blocked it off. Zombie with- Try and get to a door. Screen door shield zombie, actually, like in PVZ. Yeah, that's cool. Um, um, I, I, before I start anything, I just would like to say this is so off scale and it bugs me a little bit. But, of course, it does make it kind of cool and so derpyish. And derpyish. Also, just so you know, rigid part is where the background goes in, so I had it all wrong from the start. Okay, so. Steve is like two swords crafting crafting table, so it's a miracle how he crafted a wooden sword. Not really much on it. A wooden pickaxe, which also is not much on it. And these are things he can hold. And yeah, you can see that it's not real that his hands are open. This is not really something you can hold. And Oopsie, they spilled the torch and the tea and tea. You better act fast. And he just stares at me creepily. So it comes with a bunch of blocks. And yeah, you can basically make your own stop motions. And these, as I said, which resemble the jumping. So, this is um, a crafting table. Now, I didn't put stickers all the way around because I was running out of battery. Like right now, I'm on 6%. I'm probably like down a lot now but yeah I just have some stickers on it to show what it really looks like because yeah just so you know it's parallel with the saw thing on the other side which is why I have it like that so then next is the furnace which isn't really much to be honest I don't really mind it but it's still good to have like it's something you kind of need in Minecraft then there's just the TNT which I managed to get all the way around epic and then, yeah, there's nothing else that really has any detail to it besides these grass blocks. Yeah. So, this concludes my review. And I have no idea what to do with these. I believe the TNT block, the bottom of it, can be used as lava if you really wanted to. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the water is doing here if there's no blue block. I mean, the only stuff I don't have up here is this. This to attach to it this little star. Oh, it would be nice if they had stickers to make that look like an iron golem. But, but then, of course, iron golems aren't that beefy. And then, yeah. Oh, I might as well review them, uh, the guys, so Diamond, Steve. This, this one didn't come in the set. Ocelot. Pause if you want to see it. Any part. Skeleton Jockey. Sorry about me rushing, it's just, like, it's sort of adding up now. Creeper. Pretty much zero detail to it, besides the face. Che Creeper, um, uh, while it's being hit. Steve. Everyone knows what Steve looks like. Um, zombie door, which I really like. But he can get kind of boring sometimes. And then, like, a three stack of slimes. So, yeah, it's all for me. It's really... Oh, I just got one, 5%. Better make this fast. Well, that um, concludes my video. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Steve. I don't think that it really was a good idea to leave this torch near TNT.
because oopsies. I hate you so much.